In this circuit, we're going to be looking at the common emitter amplifier. So this is the second such circuit that I've looked at, but I'm going to explain how some of these component values were found, okay? So the first thing that you do is, if you let um, the collector current equal to 1 milliamp, okay, um, because we want uh, we want the collector voltage to be about 10 volts, okay, because that's half of VCC. So therefore, the collector resistor should be 10 kilo ohms. So if the emitter voltage is 1 volt, okay, um, and we know that there's one milliamp flowing through here, then the emitter resistor therefore should be one kilo ohm. Okay, so the base voltage is going to be 1.7 volts because you can just rearrange this equation. So, um, so because we know that, we, we also know that RB2 therefore it must be 1.7 um, uh, volts. Now this 20 is a constant, okay. I've seen some people use 10 in there, but that, that's fine, uh, 20 is fine as well, so I use 20. Now that's multiplied by 10 microamps. Now that comes from the fact that we're assuming that this transistor has a beta value of 100, which means that the collector current is going to be 100 times greater than the base current. Okay, so um, so the base current should be 10 microamps. Okay, so that's what we're using. So you end up with uh, an, or an RB2 value of um, 8.5 kilo ohms. Now, RB1 is fine because if we know that there's 1.7 volts here, there has to be a voltage drop of 18.3 volts um, up here, okay? So that's why we used 18.3 there. And again, you just uh, you do the same here, like so, and you end up with uh, 91.5 kilo ohms, okay? So because we put in this bypass capacitator in here, okay, um, that's going to increase the gain of our circuit, okay? So to find what the gain of this circuit is, um, we come down here and we say, okay, well, it's RC over... The internal resistance of this emitter here okay and that's usually taken to be 25 ohms per milliamp of current okay so that's a constant value okay now we, we know that there's like one milliamp flowing here okay so now it's just the, it's just the one that you're using okay so you're dividing one into 25 so it's going to be 25 okay so we have 25 here and we know the collector resistor is 10 kilo ohms so you end up with a gain of 400 okay so these these are all ideal values okay um so usually the actual results uh, they, they should be in the ballpark of these values probably not uh, for the gain though but anyway um so if we look at our voltages uh what they should be so we can see that that's near nearly 10 volts and then we have a, a one volt down here and the currents are like about one milliamp throughout here so that that's fine okay so when we go and we run our circuit we can see that uh, if we measure peak to peak here we can see that that's uh, 3.4067 volts okay so if you um divide then the peak to peak of our input voltage which is 10 millivolts into that um you will end up with a gain of 340.67 okay so that's uh, quite a bit off from um what uh, our our gain here is okay which is 400 okay but it's still it's you know but it's always tricky to find what the actual gain is okay so um you know so it's it's okay um so if you multiply that 340.67 by our input voltage of 5 millivolts okay you end up with um 1.7 volts okay so what that means is that um if we go all the way back here we can see that uh this was what uh, this should be around 10 volts which it is you know but if you add that 1.7 volts it should be it should um go up uh, by 1.7 volts and down by 1.7 volts okay so that that works out to be 11 point, like that works out to be um about 11.673 volts which is near enough there and then the the second one should be about 8.273 volts which is near enough there okay so um, so that's pretty much all you need to know there, okay. Now, the only thing I've left out is the, this, 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 usually you'd have a second coupling capacitor, the same value here, okay, and that's just to um, ensure that, uh, um, to, you know, to block any of the DC, okay, from affecting our signal, okay. But that's it, so that, that's pretty much um, um, all you need to know about that, okay, and that's it.